Welcome back, Spartan Nation, to another video. This one's going to be one of my slightly different videos than the rest. We're actually going to be talking about the Halo Infinite March 2022 update. This isn't going to be too long of a video. It's not going to be too short, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Stick around till the end of this video. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Now, Halo did release this earlier today. Um, they put in a decent amount of info. There's going to be a little bit of speculation here. Maybe. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of speculation. See, Halo Infinite update March 2022. The basic premise of, it, of this is just 3 for 3 communicating with us fans about what all they're doing and what's going on. So it's basically them talking about uh, what's in the top of their mind and what they're focusing in on. And there are four points here, four priorities that they have set in stone that they're working forward. There's priorities one through three, and then there's objective zero, priority zero, which is what they're, what it it's underneath everything. Everything is... It's basically the main thing that they're focusing on. As you can see here, the focus of the Halo Infinite team in priority order is one, addressing issues negatively impacting the player experience. And this is quoted directly from their website, halowaypoint.com. Uh, news, forward slash news, forward slash Halo Infinite update, March 2022. Two, completing season two and delivering it as promised on May 3rd, which is in what, February, March? We're in March, April, May. Two months away. And then continuing work on the campaign forge and season campaign co-op and season three, including forge. So they that's that's their premise of the three that they're working on. Their priority, which I, I agree with them, it's completely thing, and I hate fans who would say otherwise. Basically their own mental health and their mental stability and their physical health, you know, just maintaining that balance, which is good. And that's alright, you know, a little bit slower, I have no problems with. So basically, they're talking about uh, addressing the critical issues, and they've been going through this first season of Halo. They've been going through and fixing a bunch of different things. I want to talk about season two, which we've learned the name of on season two. It is Halo Infinite Multiplayer Lone Wolves. Now, Lone Wolves in Halo refers to Noble Six. Noble Six, before he joined Spartan Company, Noble Team 6, before he joined Noble Team, Noble 6 was a lone wolf. Now, we're talking about Noble 6 from Halo Reach. Not the Noble 6 before Halo Reach, but Noble 6 from Halo Reach. He was a lone wolf, and he was classified, same as Master Chief, as one of the top UNSC Spartans. There's also spectacle, spect, uh, speculation of him being a um, headhunter, but we're not going to go into that in this video. Lone Wolves, I think it's going to be something like that. The, the artwork and everything that I showed for this is pretty fucking amazing. Not going to lie. And we'll get into that with a little bit of speculation as well. So basically, the Lone Wolves are hunters or trackers. But yeah, that's exactly what I just said, headhunters. Uh, this is the armor. It's pretty nice armor. Talk about it a little bit here. Let's see. We got two new armor coating. It's uh, two new armor coatings that we can see from this uh, this little concept art that they have here. This is what it looks like to be on the left Spartan, the Spartan on the left of the screen with the green coloration on him. He's got a new shoulder. He's got two new shoulder plates, as well as a new helmet or attachments for the EVA helmet. Could be that, or it could be the orbital helmet. I don't know if they're bringing back the orbital helmet, but that, that looks more like EVA, EVA helmet to me with a couple of new attachments on it. I'm more interested in the Spartan on the right with the red, blue, and tan looking coloration on him. He's got multiple awesome, awesome attachments to him. His knee guards look new. Oh, and the knee guards on the uh, previously mentioned Spartan looks pretty nice as well. But he's got some nice knee guards on him. He's got a nice attachment of throwing knives. Fucking okay, he's got a he's got a knife in his hand. Which why 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 does he have a knife? 
maybe a cool stance. Okay, are we getting knives in the game? I'll be cool. I'll be fucking down to throw a fucking uh, fucking throwing knife at an enemy spar in a multiplayer. But let's talk about his chest plate and his shoulder plate here, which has the shoulder pad, which has um a banished feel to it. So is is he basically? Are they basically doing what the Banish did to early Spartans when they killed them and took their armor pieces and put it on them? So are our Spartans going to start taking their armor and putting on them? Because I'd be down for that. Fucking, you want to destroy armor? We'll take yours. Why not? Oh, these are actual characters. Oh! I should read these articles before I even go into them. But it's Spartan Sigrid Eklund on the left and Spartan Hyo Din on the right. Okay. Learn more about them and spend more time with Spartan Commander Lord Agrina as you dive into Season 2 story. Mix of cinematic, story-themed events, battle pass items. So, this is going to be something like Fortnite and their whole storylines. It's interesting. But, let's go up into the Lone Wolves Armor Core, which is pretty cool. It's very steampunk-esque in Fallout. If you, if you guys know the game Fallout, this literally looks like the... Uh, Big old armored guys that you wear. What is the armored guys? I don't know the armored guys. I don't play Fallout that much, but it literally looks like Fallout's, uh, Fallout 4, Fallout 3 armor. We got some new maps coming in. As well as what looks like a new modes, including Last Spartan Standing, a free-for-all elimination mode, as well as Land Grab and King of the Hill. We're, gonna also, we're also going to be getting some new maps, which is and a new arena map, which is Catalyst. And a big team battle map, which is Breaker, which we do have some artwork for that Halo has given us. This is some concept art. It looks like very early concept art of the uh, Breaker. It's a painting of Breaker, which is a big team battle map. It looks like it'd be interesting to see if we could use these tracks as a, a way to get into a base or something. And then this. This is where I have a little bit of speculation on Catalyst. So paint over of Catalyst, which is a new arena map. It reminds me very much so of the map Narrows from Halo 3. Where it's a void on the left and right. Yet you can still get up into the top floor. Which you can see just above the image. There's a top floor. And underneath that is a bottom floor. Which looks like trails that you can go. As well as items that you can use down there. Which was not much unlike Narrow. Which is very interesting. And that's something that I would like to see. Um... Their priority three is working on campaign co-op forged in season three. Which I don't really have too much information on this myself. But uh, I learned that Forge is coming in season three. Season two is bringing in co-op campaign, which is looking like they're going to have a four player network co-op experience. So that's uh, four players online getting together. So you and basically a squad of your buddies going in and playing good old halo infinite campaign which i still haven't finished i need to finish that um and then two player split screen co-op so back to the old days where you could sit in your own home and play through a game with your uh, own family members or friends as you came over and uh, as they came over you went over to their house and played that's pretty cool wish it was season one but that's fine i'm not gonna complain i'm not gonna complain i've enjoyed the game so far Forge, they're doing flights right now, so they're gathering data on how to better it and how it's going so far. I hear this is going to be one of the biggest Forge projects that they are going to be doing in any of the Halos. Um, from some of the information that I've heard myself, there's going to be like proper scripting of items. Halo 5 had one of the better Forges, in my opinion, just because it was a newer game and you could code a little bit better in that. Where you had little buttons that you could press that would time doors and create action events, sequences, etc. I know you could sort of do that with the other forges, but it wasn't as easy as Halo 5's forge was. And I'm hoping Halo Infinite's forge expands on that idea and makes it a little bit easier, but makes allows you to do a more in-depth um, coding of the events that you want to create. Now we get to the interesting part of this video, which is coming up... And I'll, I'll definitely be streaming, live streaming, and creating videos on this when it comes out next week. And it gets released on Tuesday, March 8th. So, literally, about a, a few days after this video gets released, I'll be playing this game mode, which is Tactical Ops. Which is a 
it's the brand new event. It's like um like the Tenrai event that they had before, and they had one other event which I completed already. Um, but it's basically tactical ops, which is tactical slayer, which is SWAT. That's a lot to say in one sentence. I don't know why they just didn't call it SWAT, but it is SWAT. And it's basically a whole event based around SWAT. So they're adding in, I believe, Mangler SWAT, Commando SWAT, um, Sidekick SWAT, or Tactical Slayer. My bad, Tactical Slayer. And then the good old regular Battle Rifle Tactical Slayer. And they're adding in all those game modes during this event. I don't know if those game modes are going to stay. I wish they would, but they're adding in those game modes during this event. For you to complete basically a 10... Uh, 10 progression, um, yeah, 10 progression, 10 level progression of a, basically a tiny season pass. Very simple to complete. I completed the first event that they had that was a week long only within like two days. So it doesn't take, and that's like an hour or two of play. It doesn't take that long. But yeah, guys, that was it for this little update. Uh, there really wasn't a lot of information, but it was definitely needed a little update that the fans needed to see for sure and three for three has so far in my opinion been doing a very good job of keeping us updated in everything that they are doing for us and i completely understand the fact of them trying to stay safe during the times that we're in i have no complaints about that honestly you know take your time halo infinite in my opinion is a great game and they just gotta they just gotta keep doing what they're doing each game is gonna hit its little speed bumps and everything but they're doing a fantastic job it's one of the better games that i've played in the past four four years i've stuck on it for over like six months has it been out for six months october november december january february march six months <laughs> about six months i was stuck for it for about six months so that that goes to show you that it's actually a pretty decent game granted i may be a little biased but I'm glad to see that we're getting some new content in Season 2 and we're not going to be left high and dry like a lot of people were fearing. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let me know down in the comments what you think of this little update that they've given us. What do you think of Season 2? What do you hope they would bring in Season 2? Just talk to me about Halo. Let's talk Halo down in the comments. I will reply to as many comments as I can. And that's it. I will catch you all in the next live stream or video if you guys choose to stick around. Spartan Next Station, out!